Hey what's up guys welcome back to the Flutter Weekly Widget Season 2 Episode 3 and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about another widget which is kind of uh, very familiar to you so as you can see on the screen this is the red screen on the right hand side on my iOS simulator and uh, you might be familiar with this kind of screen and it definitely helps you in understanding that what is the problem actually which happened while uh, doing uh, the development of your flutter application but then um, it, it is useful but let's say what if you want to show this screen manually by yourself so there we are that's interesting because you know there can be some situations where uh, you know that you know this kind of error can appear but it will definitely not show this screen until and unless a widget fails to build itself so when this screen appears actually whenever your widget is actually failed to build that particular widget like the framework uh, failed to uh, build that widget then it shows a widget and that's this red screen widget which we call error widget now um, let me just uh, take you like uh, this example I'll just restart this app and it will work so this is the counter app which uh, you get by default okay and uh, in this particular scenario if you'll see here then everything is like normal I just shown you that particular error before just uh, the purpose of showing you that how it appears and how actually it looks like so now if let's say whenever I am incrementing this particular piece of code which is increment counter I am setting this counter as plus plus so because this is a dart method you can say so it's a class method here if I'll try to use this error widget I cannot directly use it so let's say um, in case let's say we were not able to increase the counter okay so what I want to do I want to throw an exception here saying that uh, you know something went wrong with the counter and now if I'll just save it then I'll also open the debug console so that you can see if there is an error so now if I'll press this plus one button then you can see we got this error something went wrong on this with this with the counter but the problem is that you know if there is a tester who is testing your application he might not be able to find out this error because maybe I, I personally feel that red screen is very very helpful but uh, in this particular situation we cannot actually show this right and uh, let's say we know that you know rather than this rather than this piece of code what we could do if we could uh, use this error widget which I'm going to show you which takes an object as exception then it, it it could be brilliant and it's it's fine that you know you can show it let's say if there is an exception then uh, maybe you can um, check whether if there is an exception then you can uh, in the build method you will place this error widget somewhere but how to uh, handle it like uh, for all the application for the like handling it globally for for the whole application so how we can do that that's the main concern because you know for every end uh, each screen you are not going to write this code that if this is if there is an exception then rebuild the whole widget tree and I cannot like uh, write something like this if there is an error then uh, maybe build some error widget okay something like this okay and if there is no error then uh, you know you can just rebuild the scaffold but this can work for one screen two screen but not more than that so how to handle this manually for the overall application so that's the main concern and uh, you know it, it can be pretty useful for you for especially if if there is a tester who is testing the application then it might be very useful for him to tell you the exact error and you can just identify the error so um, here what I just wanted to show you that there is something called an error, error widget which takes exception so let's see what this error widget does so I'll just go here and we'll see the a widget that renders an exceptions message this widget is used when a build method fails to help with determining where the problem lies so if we will go to the stateful widget so let me just uh, 
uh, delete this piece of code let's go to this stateful widget and let's see when it actually happens so if we will go to stateful widget so here I'll go to the bottom and let's see what actually happens with the stateful widget when it's about to build itself so um, whenever we extend a stateful widget then it goes through a lot of things and we will try to find out where actually it does that error kind of stuff because somewhere it is doing that error stuff and uh, whenever there is an error it is able to give us that particular error so um, what we can do we can just search for error widget and yes so we got this error widget okay and here we have this uh, where exactly it is so here so if you will go to this particular method which is perform rebuild okay it's part of this stateful widget so if in this particular method perform rebuild if you'll just see that you know if there is any kind of error in this try catch portion if you'll just see then build is equal to error widget dot builder and this is where they are showing the error widget whenever there is any kind of error so that's what we are going to plan to show whenever we have an error so how we will do that so now let's come to the main part so inside this void main method i'm gonna pass a key okay and that key i'll make here so let's say we convert this my app which uh, actually implements the material app inside the build method which is using the material app widget what we will do we will actually make it a stateful widget for the time being because uh, for the simplicity of this particular video i'm not going to use any stream or something so this is the stateful widget now this my app i'll just rename it or maybe if you don't want it, you can just leave it like this but uh, it's better if you can rename rename it to my app state rather than using that private underscore and now here we can have a global key so this global key will be will take the type of my app state and let's name it root key and then it will be equal to another global uh, as an instance of this global key my app state now we will pass this key inside this my app method and we will pass this as the key argument and here we can just pass root key now it's showing the error because it is undefined now in the my app section we will make a constructor and inside that we can have a key one second guys key and then using this super we can actually give this key the key okay that's it and now uh, what i'm going to do in the my app state class i'll make a string called a string error message and the reason I am doing everything here because I want to make it like a, a global um, kind of stuff where you know I want to do this kind of implementation on the application level so whenever there will be an error on any screen I want to use this so that's why I I took this root key now if I'll just after this I'll make a method call handle error and inside this error I will pass the error whatever the error is and then if i'll check if mounted is equal to true so that it cannot give again an exception here and then what i'm going to use i'm gonna assign this error message is equal to this error and now in the return part of the build method where i am returning the material app i'll check whether this error error message is equal to is equal to null which means if there is no error message then return the material app but in case there is an error message then return error widget and then we will pass the exception which is error message and now we are done so now um, let's say we, we will come back to this counter uh, increment counter method where what we will show rather than throwing this new exception I'll uh, use my root key I'll access the current state of it and then i can just call this handle error method and inside this error i can pass any kind of error so i'll just copy this particular error from here and i'll just paste it fine and now i'll just restart my application and yeah boom 
so now I'll also open the debug console for you and now as soon as I'll press this plus icon oh nothing actually happened and we got no error so what's the problem with that so what I'll uh, recommend to do is just re-running your application from the scratch so that we can make sure that you know there's no error from our end and uh, let's let's wait for a few seconds oh there is one more thing we forgot to do is that whenever we are setting this error message to error we need to call this set state so that you know our application can rebuild so that's the reason probably why the error didn't appear so now it's fine and as soon as it will complete I'll restart this again performing hot restart and now I'll just press this plus icon and you can see that something went wrong with the counter and you know th there's no um, error here if you want you can throw an exception but uh, that's what I wanted to show you that you know now you can see this error and with uh, using error widget and you can access this root key anywhere in your application so that was the idea of this particular widget the error widget and this was the flutter weekly widget season 2 episode 3 and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then press the like button and uh, press uh, the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel and the bell icon to get the future updates as well and and please make sure that you watch all the new videos i am trying to cover each and every aspect of uh, flood up and uh, if you really enjoyed then let me know in the comments that uh, are you uh, if you are like liking this kind of videos so thank you so much guys for watching have fun keep learning keep fluttering